got some good music tonight on and action brought to you by Casting Calls America. I was in the background here doing my white boy dance. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome. I am Ricky Borba. We have a great show tonight. We have uh, four guests, including myself tonight, which we're very excited about. But there's also something else that we are very, very excited about here at Casting Calls America, and that is our partnership. Uh, I don't know if you read Variety, but this morning Variety, it's been on IMDb for a while, but we are now the official partner with IMDb Pro for all of your casting call needs. I'm going to read this paragraph from Variety verbatim. Uh, IMDb Pro members can access notices for more than 30 job categories, including actor, writer, director, and editor at imdbpro.com slash jobs from the jobs header in the site toolbar via the jobs tab. Uh, iPhone, Androids, all that fun stuff. You can sort based on um, work from home opportunities, location, production type. Basically, uh, if you are part of Casting Calls America, you are now on the front line of IMDb Pro. And if you're on IMDb Pro and you're looking for work, you're probably going to want to join Casting Calls America because we are now simpatico. So that is very cool news for us. We also have very cool people tonight. So we have Susan S. Shear. We have Jen Gottson. Hello, Susan. We Hi. have Gabriela Costa de Nova. And we have my buddy Brian McClure. Welcome. <laughs> we're all awesome patico that, that is the word of uh, the 30 minutes i like it i like it i feel like we should listen to that intro music again and have like a dance off <laughs> oh my gosh that was like jamming yeah, and I was like, oh, I like the intro. Ricky, that is such exciting news. Yes. I'm so excited for you. So much. We're we're excited. We're, I I honestly can't take any ounce of credit for it. That's all uh, Brian, our producer, and Bex backstage. But uh, nonetheless, very exciting. Um, so roll call. All right, my screen reads Susan, Jen, Brian, Gabriella. So Susan, uh, really quick, ten second. Who are you and where are you? I know where you are, but I want the audience to know where you are. Then then we'll go to Jen, then Brian, then Gabriella. <laughs> I'm Susan Shear, and I am actually in California, and right now I'm down in San Diego. Um, my dad calls me his assistant. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But yeah. Great. Jen? I'm Jen Gotson, and I'm right outside of New York City. And we've been working on having a little five month year old baby and producing The Farmer and the Bell. It's amazing. He is so cute. Brian? Where are you at in the world? Hey, uh, I am in Atlanta, Georgia. It'll be about six years I've been down here after spending about six years in Los Angeles. That's great. Awesome. Gabriella? Hey, guys. I'm Gabriella, and I'm originally from Bulgaria. I uh, have been on the East Coast uh, for, lived on the East Coast for five years, and then relocated to Los Angeles uh, for the last four years. And I'm currently on the East Coast filming an ABC film. That is awesome. And you just got back from Vegas, did you not? You were filming there till like five in the morning every day. Like oh my gosh! Yes, it was yeah. so fun and so tiring, but it was great. It was awesome. one of those. Like, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I love that for you, Gabby. It's awesome. It's awesome. So before we all get into how we all met each other, um, I go back the furthest with Jen Godson. So it was, I think, ten years ago now. Once upon a time, I was working at a production company up north of Sacramento and Auburn. And the big news was, hey, we're going to do this golf movie. And guess who's interested? Jen Godson's interested. And uh, I, uh, Jen Godson and I were going to play a husband and wife in the film. The film never came to fruition, but um, we kept in touch sparingly just over Facebook, things like that. And then uh, two years ago, I do a film called Hope for the Holidays. And I called Jen. I said, Jen, you've absolutely please got to be a part of this. And you came out and you were part of it. Jen, I was going to ask you in the green room, but I'm going to ask you now publicly. Do you remember the compliment that you gave myself and the production while you were here? Do you remember what you said specifically about that film and the production? Oh, it was one of the most relaxing, yes. relaxing bubble bath, enjoyable movie sets oh, I've ever been on. <laughs> it was so peaceful and so calm in between takes and going from one setup to the next setup that you forgot you were on a movie set. I thought I was at a retreat. Uh, it, that So when I tell the story of Hope for the Holidays, that is one of the things I point because I was a first-time director. You know, I've done stuff and things like that, but for you, seasoned actress, been directed by Ron Howard and all these big films, and you're like, this film feels like a warm bubble bath. 
I was just, I, you know, moved by that a little bit. I was like, that that just lets me know that God has put me in the right place at the right time to do the right thing. And so uh, thank you for that. So, okay. So we move on from that. Now, you know, Jen's doing her other movie. I'm doing my other movie. And Jen says, hey, Ricky, my friend Susan has this, um, I don't want to call it a company or a program, but has this thing called Inspiring Actors. So Susan, tell us about Inspiring Actors. <laughs> Well, Inspiring Actors um, has been going on since about 2014 with um, Jen and myself. It was actually originally um, Jen had a seminar and I came to her and I said, Jen, if we did this and this and this and this and took it online and, and it just kind of built from there. And now the wonderful thing is we have a membership group and uh, amazing guests like you that our actors are able to be exposed to and now Brian and Gabby both have a relationship with you and that just blesses me. That's I, I love hearing that. Um, I'm sure Brian's not too excited about having a relationship with me but Gabby's really nice and she is. Perfect setup Susan it's like you almost tailored, tailored me this. So Brian I'll go to you first. What is Inspiring Actors for Actors? What are you getting out of it? Hey, buddy. <laughs> yes, uh, it's been a really cool experience. Uh, Susan told me about it um, at the end of last year. And it's been a really cool way for me to um, keep working on my craft during this crazy time that we're all experiencing, um, you know, not actually being able to um, get together in person with people. And so it's been a really good way. We just got done doing a workshop with Christopher Sean Shaw, a little tongue twister. Christopher yeah, Sean it's hard to say. Um, but that was a comedy one. And before that, I got to take Ricky's class. And I will say that I did enjoy it, Ricky. It well, was thank you, sir. amazing and thankful for the relationship that we formed. Um, and just uh, meeting like-minded people that are um, mm. inspiring, uh, people filled with joy. Um, you know, there's other elements where I know um, Jen will probably talk about further, like she's hosting some really great events through the group. It's just, there's there's a lot of, Susan talks about how they want to bring extra value, more value than, than the membership um, cost for, just like over, uh, what is it? Under, over promise, under, you know what I mean? More value. Yes. Um, so it's been really cool and uh, I'm really enjoying it. Get a lot out of it. So. That's great. Gabby, uh, Gabby, I guess everybody's calling you Gabby. I know you as Gabriella. Same question. What are you involved with it for? What are you getting out of it? Why is it special to you? Hmm. Very special to me because it really helped me bring God into my acting and uh, really, really, really rely on him. Instead of using him only when I needed to, he became a central piece of my acting. Jen and Susan created something that I actually went to Jen before funny enough the pandemic and Somehow it was the right timing, and I love the slogan of the classes, which was for a time such as this. And not only did it fill my world during the pandemic and rejuvenate me in so many ways, but it really just gave me a whole new perspective. Jen and I had had a talk about how sometimes when you're out in the world and studying acting and, you know, plunging into your craft and your work, it takes you to some dark places. When you're trying to do something good and you're trying to present things in an inspiring light, some of the characters we deal with are dark and the stories are dark. We live in a broken world. And I didn't know how to how to meet some of that without feeling that darkness. And I just, I was kind of desperate for that help. I was like, Jen, how do you do it? And she was like, you know what? Let me show you. And I mean, long story short, I just, I remember just feeling engulfed by God's presence and really marrying him to my work and, and having that heart to heart prayer and conversation with him and being like, wow, why did I exclude you all this time? Mm -hmm. So this is, I think, long story short, that's what I took away from it and just colored my work in completely different ways. And it continues to do it today with every character I face. It's a constant learning process. This, this humanity that God built into us. It's yeah. I love it. So obviously Jen is touched by that. And I was going to ask Jen the very next question. So it's perfect. Jen, um, I want to talk to you about the fact that you have straddled both secular films, non-Christian films. You, you, Frost Nixon, directed by Ron Howard, among others, and now you're the faith-based darling. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would like for you to talk, because there's a lot of people who watch this show 
that are uh, up and coming, trying to break into the business. Mm -hmm. Last week I had Gigi Orsillo on the show and uh, we talked about, um, and I want to talk about that again with you ladies and also Brian, integrity in the business, what you're willing and not willing to do in front of the camera and how to move up. So Jen, let's toss it to you because you've been able to cultivate a career that you're proud of, that your son in 18 years can look at and say, I'm very proud of my mom's work. There's mm -hmm. nothing she won't show me that she did. So this kind of inspiring actor studio with Susan is 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 born from that. Talk about that mm. some, Jen. Mm. Well, I believe a lot of it comes down to what are we called to do? And everyone has a different path. Some people look at acting as a hobby. Some people look at it as a career. The next is what is the content you want to create? For me, there's a deep conviction. I'm called to do movies that inspire and impact mm. audiences where you see a character go through a, a maybe a dark turn and then in the climax have a revelation of knowing what their purpose might be or you see a fault going down. Well, there's ways on how you create that scenario in your imaginative world. And so Susan and I love working uh, with actors, with working actors, with beginner actors, with advanced actors to be iron sharpening iron to say how do you access your imagination in a very healthy space how do you get emotionally deep very quickly how do you create characters that are very dynamic and memorable and how do you take that and bring it to an on-camera dynamic so you're creating a, a captivated uh, performance to be able to draw that viewer in I love it. And, and Jen, uh, you you as a person do all that. So, of course, you want to uh, teach that unto others. Before we go to Susan, um, Jen, we do something on this show. I, I go back in the archives of someone's Instagram. So uh, whoever I'm interviewing that week, I go all the way back to their first post, and I grab their first ever picture, and I'm without comment. you got to explain what this is. All right, Bex, go for it. <laughs> oh, yes. This was your first ever post almost seven years ago today. Oh my gosh. So this is at Movie Guide. Movie Guide is like the Oscars for the faith and family market. And Alone Yet Not Alone was nominated for uh, an Oscar, but it got rescinded. I played a British captive uh, who, got, uh, who actually got killed and sacrificed herself. So this is at the red carpet for Alone Yet Not Alone. Did you just say wow. got nominated for an Oscar and then rescinded? It did, yeah. Uh, we were nominated for Best Song, and um, this is interesting. Being in Frost Nixon, that was also Oscar nominated. They had a they had a promotional campaign, like many Oscars do. There's a budget, thirty million plus, that goes into helping market that movie to be considered for the Oscars. Alone yet, not alone, didn't have that market. Yeah. But our uh, composer, he used to be on the Academy. Okay. And he's no longer, he was retired. He sent an email out just saying, hey, everyone, take a look at submission, whatever number we were. And, well, the song Alone Yet Not Alone um, by Johnny Erickson Tata was so good. Oh, it God. was garnered uh, praise. Amazing. And then the Academy said, wait, it's it's biased. So they ended up uh -huh. it. Well, well, we'll leave it at that because we know how that goes. Yeah. Um, but, Susan, um, I want to talk to you. How, how special is... Um, inspiring actors to, to you to see the the growth not just in Jen because you know Jen's grown as well but your students and and, and what's it mean to you Susan oh I'm I think part of you cut out but, oh um, <laughs> inspiring actors to me uh, we did a challenge of um walking in your destiny, stepping into it. And for me, it was more about the entire life of an actor, not just their acting, but everything about them and their their health and their mental, um, their heart. And so it's been really uh, fun to invite special guests that are outside of the industry, but can impact their lives. Yeah. And I just want to say that Jen has such a special way of teaching. She is totally um, allowing the Holy Spirit to flow through her. Yeah. So it's so precious to watch that. And it, it just, it blesses me so much to be a part of this. That's wonderful. You know, I'm not sure if everybody who's watching is aware of it, but uh, Casting Calls America has a faith-based arm called Faith-Based Casting. And so when I was doing Hope for the Holidays, which was previously titled The Talking Tree, I actually cast two people 
from Faith Days Casting, which is part of this. So, had I know Brian and Gabby, of course, I would have cast you both. But um, mm-hmm. Brian, I want to I want to toss it to you, Brian. Um, I, I, well, before we go s- uh, single on Brian, I will talk to both of Brian and Gabby. The reason I chose the both of you was because in the first couple uh, classes, are we calling them, Susan? What am I? Uh, uh, workshops, what it, what it, whatever the word is that I'm doing. Um, <laughs> to me, you guys. Classes. Yes. Yes. You both stood out to me in terms of your talent and your character, and and not just that, but you're two people that are trying to make this um, your vocation. And so, Brian, before you answer the question, first of all, please plug your film that just came out. Because so proud of you, bro. You're on the you're on the poster. You're you're rocking it. You got two girls on on each side. You're a single guy, so that's cool. Go for it, man. Good for you. But plug your film, and then uh, tell us tell us about um, what it takes to keep going in this industry. Because people will look at you and think, you know, Brian, he's probably 28 years old, but you're not. You're a little older than that. You've been doing this a long time. You have a lot of wisdom. So uh, just talk about that for a bit. Yeah, uh, I had the privilege of, um, it was a straight gift from God, this film, uh, in other words, that I did. It's a romantic comedy. It's now out on HBO Max. I'm very excited about it. Um, I played the lead. My character's name is True Andrews. In the story, I have a difficult time finding uh, girls to be my person. Um, So I develop a matchmaking app that finally connects me with a woman. The only problem is she doesn't speak any English. She only speaks Spanish. So therein lies the the whole plot is me trying to figure out how to make this work. Um, But yeah, uh, Ricky talked about um, the journey. And it was about 15 years ago that I was the first thing that I ever booked. Um, And that was actually kind of a fluke because I was looking for a summer job. I saw something online that said, make money acting. I signed up. I didn't hear anything that summer, but the following summer I um, got a call out of the blue and I thought it was a prank call asking me to come to a commercial casting. But I went and I booked uh, my first commercial for Windstream Communications. And that was really planted the seed in my heart that, wow, this was a lot of fun. I'd like to know more. And throughout that um, initial interest as a hobby, God was working in my heart to, uh, you know, have me pursue this more. And I felt him really call me to move to Los Angeles and then uh, ultimately to Atlanta. But it's had it's hard sometimes. You know, I've prayed to God if he wants me to go in a different direction to take me because, um, you know, there are ups and downs and the downs are, are hard sometimes. But he's always kept me here. And that's how I know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing because, um, you know, he keeps bringing things into my life and showing me that I'm supposed to be here and supposed to be um, doing this. So So what would you say to someone in your position that's going after it, that has currently a downtime? What do you do? What can you, anybody, any of you can chime in, but we're talking with Brian, what sorts of things, advice, things can they do to help get through those times? For me, it's keep moving keep taking step. You know, you, if you stand still, you're just going to stay in that valley. But if you keep taking one step, you know, if that's signing up for a next class, if it's going to a workshop, if it's uh, making your own content, just keep taking steps, keep doing it, keep moving. And eventually you get out of that valley. You're, you know, you can only, life is ups and downs. So as long as you just keep going, you're going to come out of the valley into, you yeah. know, it's like that scene in Finding Nemo, just keep swimming, keep swimming, keep swimming. Yeah, right. yeah. I, I love the idea when, the thing that we were talking about God a lot is that when you pray and you say, God, give me a vision. And then that might even be as simple as a Facebook Live, a YouTube short, or a future film um, at, a, at a big scale. You can create your own content. Um, I remember a long time ago feeling like I, all I'm getting is extra work. And I prayed and I said, Lord, show me if this is what you want me to do, open up an opportunity. And the next day I got cast mm-hmm. to the Hulk as an extra. And I said, Lord, this is impossible. And then God said, but with me, all things are yeah. possible. Awesome. I prayed and I got lines and I got upgraded on the Hulk. Uh, and God just said, you're on the right way. That's just me. That's awesome. So you're in the Hulk too, Jen? You're in the Hulk as well? The, the um, uh, Eric Bana one or the... Ang Lee. Ang Lee, the Ang Lee one, very cool. Hey. Uh, we could talk about that for the next half hour, but I'm going to go to Gabby. That's really cool. Gabby. Yeah. Yes, Gabby. Oh. Yeah, Gabby, um, I want you to first plug what you're working on. And if you want to talk about that thing that we've talked about, that we were, uh, the, the packet, if not, no big deal. I don't know if that's ready to be talked yeah. about. But yeah. as, as a, a young woman who's married, 
in, in this industry, talk about character counts. I always say um, talent gets you in the room, character keeps you there. So um, that's mm -hmm. just my little thing. So Gabby, go ahead, take it away. Oh boy. Well, um, for me, I think it's, it's this journey has been, it, it didn't start, I think, w as, as, you know, with something groundbreaking and, and amazing, like a, like a sign that I have to do this, but I always knew that um, it was the actors and the stories that I, I watched that actually taught me, I feel like 50% of what I know about the world is from good films, and you know, as, as ignorant as that may sound, I guess. But there's so many amazing stories. And, but later on, I found out, I realized that when we create stories and we put them out into the world, we are teachers, so to speak, and we communicate. We have a responsibility to communicate something to the world that is important, that, you know, that it's, a, it's a lesson of humanity. So to me, it's just so important to, uh, to always bring that into what I do. And it took me a long time, I think. I mean, I've been at it for about six or seven years. I would say seven years now. Um, and it took me a while to find my voice and to find out who, who, who I am. And uh, it wasn't until I was really faced with that question and I, I realized that I found out about branding and how important it is with branding. I used to think that I need to be a clean slate. Like, I could be anything. I could be whatever, the, the woodchuck, the girl next door. I can be the, the femme fatale, the sassy girl. Then I re and not that you can't, but the point is, the, point, the whole point was about the vibe you bring. And I like that what you said, Ricky, that character does keep you in a room because and that's what I found is that if you're a reed in the wind, um, people won't know what to do with you. And you may be great, but if you don't have uh, a honed in feeling uh, of who it is that God made you, who you are, what is your mission and what are you there to, to say? And just like you told me once in our, one of our conversations that you are the project, that has really turned into something that uh, I think has in turn informed everything that I do or want to be a part of. I, I want to look at what God has put in here not in a selfish way, but more so in a way to where I know my tools, I know who I am, and this is how I can use them. So uh, I try that's, that's the type of work that I try to work on. I try to attract, so to speak, and I think God sends it all in a way. What I'm working on right now is a wonderful uh, film about uh, a D.B. Cooper uh, imitator, actually, who hijacked a plane. And I'm one of the stewardesses on this plane, and we have to deal with this guy. And what I love about this film is that it, it it's, the vehicle is this hijacking, but the characters are the most interesting part. And why is it they do what they do and how broken people, you know, hurt people, hurt people. And, and how people, when they meet each other, they push each other's buttons and, and activate past hurts. And how do you deal with that? How do you win? How do you find your why? And it's been amazing to explore a character that's so opposite of me. Yeah. Uh, but it, but that's where I, I follow Jen's uh, teachings is to find the compassion for those characters find why god loves these people and the compassion and the brokenness of that character and why do you feel for this person and how this person goes through so to me it's always been about that the redemption the triumph of the spirit and yeah. to cap it with this i've been working on for the last five years six years i'm bulgarian so i'm deeply rooted in my country for better or for worse and in our history and our history has been very tumultuous and especially in the past 500 years there has been a a big um <clears throat> overtake from a different uh the ottoman empire and this is it's, it's a whole uh tv series of feature the became it was a short film became a feature then turned into a tv series that we're pitching to multiple multiple people now and to me it's always been about uh really telling those stories that not don't convict but they um bring out flesh out and just show what people are capable of doing if they, if they step into their destiny Awesome, yeah. Gabby. That's awesome. Uh, I told you guys this was going to go quick. We've got <laughs> minutes left. Susan, so I want you to talk about, um, for a minute, Susan, give a couple minutes, um, talk about inspiring actors and um, just y the, you have a, uh, just a beautiful heart for not only helping actors grow, but you want young actors to stay on course and, and know that they can get roles and be involved without having to sacrifice character. Susan, if you want to talk about that for a minute. I hope Susan's still there. Right, it's really important for us to um, let actors know that their morals and their beliefs can be valued and that there are jobs and opportunities for them. And so we provide a safe place for them to come. We have some amazing instructors that they get to work with, like you, Ricky, and create relationships. So hopefully there might be projects down the road or at least that they just learn about what good, decent um, filmmakers are doing and how they can interact. 
and uh, we just love them being able to come and hone their skills and to also be able to um, experience God being on the set because that's a big part of what we do is having the Holy Spirit be present in everything. I love it. And, you know, I will say this, too. Uh, it, we're not trying to make, quote, unquote, faith-based content. We're trying to make content that has good value, good good morals, all those things. Yes, it might be faith-based, but you can tell great stories without hammering people over the head to the faith-based stuff. So, Jen, we've got a couple minutes left. Jen, um, do me a favor. Speak directly to the people who are trying to, um, right now, they're thinking, okay, is this for me? What do I do? Jen, give them give them just a couple pointers how to get going if this is on their heart. You know what? I think this might be for me. I think acting. What is a couple of the things they can start doing today? Awesome. Okay. So um, one thing, join us, Inspiring Actors. Yes. Uh, go to our website, inspiring-actors.com. Uh, learn about us. Uh, hook up with us there. Second. If you've never, ever, ever done anything acting-wise, see if you could be an extra. Get on a big boy, big motion picture movie set. Um, third, let's say you have a friend who is making a film and you don't know how to get into acting. Ask if you can volunteer. You want to serve. The more you serve, the more you're able to give. And as a result, you'll be able to get joy and you can learn. Fourth, educate yourself. Get a book. Watch YouTube videos. Practice monologues. Practice your favorite scenes. Um, and get that up in front of the camera and you could start to see how you're, you are performing. Get involved in local uh, performances at like your local college, all sorts of different things. We could go into much more detail, yes. but those are some quick one, two, three. That's awesome. That's great. And you know, I always say that we have these devices now, these, these little things we carry in our pockets that have better cameras than cameras Jen and I were using 10 years ago yeah. on movies. So <laughs> go after it, go after it, go after it. I told you guys this is going to be quick. We've got, a, we've got a minute left. Go for it, Gabby. Yes, Gabby. Oh, I was going to say, the only thing I was going to say, everything Jen said is beautiful and exactly exactly as you as you should do in order to hone the craft. And remember, I'll just add, if God has chosen you, if there is a path for you, if this is your gift and you feel that passion and fire in you, however small the flame may be sometimes, do not limit God. Trust him. Give him, give him that benefit of the doubt and trust that he has put this in you to develop and work on those talents. Don't bury them. Just don't limit God. Let him work through you. Wow. What a way to close the show, Gabby. Thank you so much. Brian, Susan, Jen, this was fun. I told you it's going to feel fast. We're going to have to bring you guys back. We'll get into more detail now that we've topped the surface. But thank you all for coming. This was really informative, really fun. Thank you, guys. Ricky, we'll you're you. amazing. Ricky, we love you. You are such a gift to all of us. Oh, to everyone. Keep radiating. Keep making amazing movies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Love you all. We'll see you next time.